Welcome to five true scary late night horror stories. A compilation of true and bone chilling encounters experienced by people during the stillness of the night. These are not tales of fiction, but real life events recounted by those who lived through the unsettling moments. Each story unfolds a unique encounter with the unexplainable or the disturbingly human. From ghostly apparitions in the dead of night, to eerie occurrences in desolate places, or close encounters with the unknown, sit back and prepare to dive into five narratives that showcase the frightening possibilities that lurk in the shadows when the world is fast asleep. Are you ready to explore the mysteries and terrors that these individuals faced in the silence of the night? Us, because he was angry about the tip, or if there was something more sinister behind his actions, the fact that he showed up at the house, staring and not saying a word, really freaked us out. It wasn't just the refusal of a tip that had set him off. His fixation seemed personal and deeply unsettling. We couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, and every little sound made us jump. We felt paranoid, always looking over our shoulders, wondering if he or someone else might be lurking around. The whole experience had a lasting impact on us. For weeks after, we were hesitant to open the door to anyone, especially if we weren't expecting a delivery or visitor. We'd look out the window first, making sure we knew who was there before opening the door. We also made a point of double-checking that all the doors and windows were locked at night, and when we were alone, the fear gradually subsided as time went on, and nothing more happened. But the memory of that night stayed with us. It was a stark reminder of how quickly a situation can become frightening and how vulnerable we can feel in our own homes. From then on, we were more cautious about our safety and more aware of our surroundings. Despite the pizza guy being fired, the unease of what could have happened if we hadn't acted quickly lingered with us. It was a scary lesson on the unpredictability of people and the importance of trusting our instincts when something doesn't feel right. Movie Kill Bill and had a yellow and black face mask on to match. My mom usually doesn't dress up for Halloween, but this year she decided to go all out since it was her friend's last year working there before retirement. After the balloon incident, she managed to calm down and continued handing out candy and little toys to the kids who came by. The night went on without any more incidents and my mom enjoyed seeing all the different costumes and the joy on the kids' faces. However, as the evening wore on, she noticed a man lingering near the entrance, watching her. He wasn't dressed up and didn't seem to be with anyone. Every time she glanced his way, he quickly looked away, but she could feel his eyes on her whenever she wasn't looking. She mentioned it to Jackson when he came by to check on her, and he said he'd keep an eye out. Eventually, the man approached her, and she braced herself, not sure what to expect. But all he did was ask for a balloon for his daughter, who was apparently shy and waiting in the car. My mom, still a bit wary, called Jackson over, and he blew up a balloon for the man, who thanked them and quickly left. My mom watched as he walked to a car parked a bit away and handed the balloon to someone inside before driving off. The rest of the night passed uneventfully and my mom packed up the treat stand. Feeling relieved, but still a bit shaken by the strange man's behavior, it was a reminder that even in the midst of a fun and festive occasion, it's important to stay alert and aware of your surroundings. 
she was glad to have friends and colleagues nearby who were looking out for each other, making the whole experience a little less frightening. After that Halloween, she decided to skip dressing up the following year, preferring to keep things simple and avoid attracting any unwanted attention. But she still enjoys seeing the kids in their costumes and the spirit of the holiday, even if she participates from a bit more of a distance. Saying how scared she was, she was deeply shaken by the encounter and the threatening nature of the man's words. It took a while for her to feel safe again, even in her own home. The idea that someone could be so brazen and threatening in a public place, and the thought of what might have happened if she hadn't been cautious and sought help immediately, haunted her. The incident served as a stark reminder of the unpredictability of people and the importance of being aware of one's surroundings. It also highlighted the strength and support of community and the significant role that bystanders, colleagues, and law enforcement can play in ensuring one's safety. My mom eventually returned to work, but she was more vigilant and cautious, always making sure she was never alone when closing up or leaving the store. My family made sure to support her through this time, understanding the trauma and fear she had experienced. We talked about safety measures, like always walking out with someone at night or having a prearranged pickup. These conversations, while born out of a disturbing incident, brought us closer together as we recognized the value of looking out for each other. While time has passed and the incident has become a distant memory, its impact lingers. It's a story my mom occasionally shares as a cautionary tale, reminding us all to be aware, to look out for each other, and to never underestimate the importance of community and safety. It was a harrowing experience, but it also demonstrated the resilience and courage that people can show in the face of fear. Stash of pills, and there was a tense moment where I wasn't sure what he was going to do. But after what felt like an eternity, he sighed and said, fine, I know you got nothing to do with this and your kid doesn't deserve any part in it. Get out, but if he doesn't come back with my money, you both are dead. I grabbed my son as quickly as I could, not even looking back at the sea of pills that I so desperately craved just moments before. My maternal instincts overtook any desire for the drugs, and all I could think about was getting my son to safety. We left the house, and I never ran so fast in my life. Once I felt we were far enough away, I broke down, hugging my son tightly, crying from the fear and the reality of the situation. I never went back to that life. That night was the turning point for me. I realized the danger I had put my son and myself in. And from that day forward, I worked to get clean and provide a better life for my son. It wasn't easy, but with the help of family and some close friends, I managed to turn our lives around. My son is the reason I strive to be better every day. As for my ex, he never came back into our lives. I heard he continued down that dark path until it eventually consumed him. It's a sad ending, but it's the harsh reality of addiction. It takes away everything and everyone you love until there's nothing left. This experience taught me the importance of choices and the impact they have not just on your life, but on those you love. I'm sharing this story as a reminder to anyone struggling with addiction that it's never too late to seek help and change your path. Your life and the lives of those you care about are worth more than any drug. Stay strong and fight for a better tomorrow. Over them, 
I felt slightly more confident. If only because they made me feel a bit more protected, I took a deep breath and sprinted towards my car, my heart racing and my mind alert for any sound or movement. As I reached the car, I fumbled for the keys, my hands shaking. I glanced around quickly, trying to spot the man, but he was nowhere to be seen. With a sense of urgency, I unlocked the car, jumped in, and locked the doors immediately. I started the car and drove away as fast as I could, constantly checking the rearview mirror to see if I was being followed. The streets were empty and dark, the silence adding to my anxiety. I kept driving until I reached my boyfriend's bar, my entire body still tense from the encounter. When I finally saw him, I burst into tears, explaining what had happened. My boyfriend was furious and concerned, insisting that we report the incident to the police, but all I wanted was to go home and forget the whole thing. He agreed to let it go for the night, but made me promise to never go out alone at such hours again. He also arranged for one of his co-workers to give him a ride home every night until he could get his car fixed. After that night, I was more cautious and aware of my surroundings. The experience reminded me that no matter how safe you feel in your neighborhood, it's important to listen to your gut feelings and take extra precautions, especially when you're alone at night. I'm just thankful that nothing worse happened and that I managed to get away safely. It was a terrifying reminder of the dangers that can lurk even in the most unexpected places. Appreciate the security measures of my building now more than ever. The incident was a sobering reminder of the potential dangers lurking even in familiar surroundings. After hearing about the other girl who was robbed, I couldn't help but feel a mix of relief and sorrow. Relief that I had managed to avoid a potentially dangerous encounter. And sorrow for the girl who wasn't as fortunate. Since then, I've been more vigilant about my surroundings, especially when going out late at night. I've also shared my experience with my neighbors, urging them to be cautious and to report any suspicious activity. The community has become more alert and supportive, and some have even discussed increasing security measures in our area. I've learned the importance of trusting my instincts and taking proactive steps to ensure my safety. I'll never forget the fear I felt that night, but it has also empowered me to take control of my safety and to encourage others to do the same. It's crucial to stay aware, to have a plan in case of emergency, and to always be prepared to act quickly and decisively. My experience was a stark reminder that danger can appear when least expected, but with vigilance and preparation, we can protect ourselves and our community. That's all for today's collection of harrowing and cautionary tales. Each story serves as a reminder of the unexpected turns life can take and the importance of staying vigilant. If you've had an experience that sent chills down your spine or taught you a valuable lesson about safety, please consider sharing it. You can submit your stories at Southern Canal or email them to southerncannibalstoriesogmail.com. Your experiences could be the next to be featured and shared to help others stay aware and safe. Until next time, have a good day or night, and remember, always stay alert, stay safe, and of course, stay hungry for more stories. Music fades out.